Alrighty, we are back. So we're on question 24 now. We're solving for x. There's a natural exponential in here, but uh, this won't be too bad. So just like solving for x and other equation problems, you're going to try and isolate x's. But in this case, first you're going to try and isolate the exponential. So we'll subtract 8 over. 12 minus 8 is 4. Then we'll divide by 4. four over four is just one. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the inverse function of the exponential, which is the natural logarithm. All right? Or we could just think of this as, um, in its equivalent form, the natural log. Right. So equivalently, just like in the previous problem, the natural log, that's the log base e of one, equals that power. Right, in the previous problem, I was I said this over and over again, but this logarithm is asking really the question. It's trying to answer that question. What is the power of e that gives you 1? Well, that power is quite clearly 2x minus 4. OK. So, uh, this one we can solve. Let's add the 4 over. And we'll divide by 2. Now there's a nice little simplification step here. What is the natural log of 1? It's the power of e that gives you 1. Well, that power is 0. So this is 4 over 2, which is just 2. So if you plug in 2 here, you're definitely going to get what you want. e to the 2 times 2 minus 4 plus 8 equals 12. This is e to the 0th, which is 1, which means we've got 4 plus 8 equaling 12 and that's all you found right there <laughs> okay you could almost see this by inspection right away from the beginning okay 25 which of the following angles is coterminal with negative 13 pi over 6 okay you get to draw a unit circle here coterminal that means if you drew this angle in which i will do now uh hmm so it's negative, so we're going this direction. It's negative 13 pi over 6. If you go backwards by 2 pi, that's all the way around the circle one time, that's the same as going 12 pi over 6, right? That's the same as 12 pi over 6. This is negative 13 pi over 6, so we're going to go another pi over 6 around. This is negative pi over 6 in addition right here. OK? So this right here is negative 12 pi over 6 going once around the circle in clockwise fashion. And then we'll go an additional negative pi over 6. OK, so we're right, we're right down here. So which of these is coterminal with it? This is nasty. Uh, it's it's not this one. That's shy. That lands right here. Uh, pi over six is right there as well. It's not that one. Eight pi over six. That's that's close. Er. Eight pi over six is um. No, it's not even. That's not closer. It's got to be this one. Thirty-five pi over six. Okay, so I'm gonna draw that one out just to see. So we, I know this one. It's a negative pi over 6 here. So 35 pi over 6. So here's 12 pi over 6, 
24 pi over 6. 36 pi over 6. 36, right? If we go back 1 pi over 6, we get to the same spot. And if we take away one of these sixths, we're at 35. So that is definitely the answer. D. It's a nasty one. OK. Um, I'll be back in a little bit for more questions. Uh, looks like 26. So see you soon.